Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna and today I want to show you how to find the derivatives of these exponential functions. Let's start with our first example. We want to find the derivative of our function f, so we want to find f prime of x. And if we take a look at our function here, because of this plus symbol, our function is separated into two parts. We have this part here and the second part here. We start by differentiating our first part. This is just a 2. It is just a number. There is no x in here, so it will vanish when we differentiate it. So it will be 0. We don't have to write down anything. We are done with the first part and can take a look at our second part. Here we have 4 times this exponential function. Our x is in here. If we take a look at the 4 first, it is connected by this multiplication symbol. So the 4 is a factor and factors just stay the same when we differentiate. So the 4 stays. And then we have to differentiate this exponential function. We will use the chain rule for this because here we have an inner function and an outer function. The inner function is always what is inside your exponential function, so this exponent here, and the outer function is your e to the power of something. And the chain rule says take your inner function and differentiate it and then multiply it by the derivative of your outer function. So take your outer function and differentiate it as well. So this is our green function. We differentiate it and then we take our orange function and differentiate it as well. Let's start with the green part here. If we differentiate this, we start here with a 5x. The x will vanish when we find the derivative and just the number in front of our x will stay, so just the 5. And the plus 1 will vanish as well because here is no x in here. So just the 5 is the derivative of our inner function of this green part here. Then we multiply this by the derivative of the outer function. But the outer function is the exponential function and we know that e to the x stays e to the x if we differentiate it. So the beautiful thing with working with exponential functions is that the outer der derivative is just this function. You don't change anything. You just take your e to the 5x plus 1 and write it down here again. You already took care of your inner derivative and the outer derivative is then easy because you just have to write down exactly the same thing. This is your derivative. You can now calculate 4 times 5, which equals 20. And then we are done with our first example. Let's take a look at our second example here. We want to find g prime of x. We have a plus symbol here as well. So we first take a look at our exponential function here. We know we want to use the chain rule again, so we have our inner function and our outer function. We take our inner function and differentiate it and multiply it by the derivative of our outer function. So let's start with the green thing and differentiate it. We have negative 4x here, so the x will vanish and just the negative 4 will stay. Day. The plus 1, there is no x in here, it will vanish as well. So negative 4 is our green derivative. Okay, we've done that. Now we want to find the derivative of our orange thing. But this is the exponential function. So we take this thing and don't change anything. Just write it down like this. And this is the first part. Then we have our plus and take a look at the second part. Here we have 2 times e times x. This is not e to the x, this is e times x. So how do we differentiate this normally? When we have an x in here, we know the x will vanish and the numbers in front of my x will stay. 
And E is just a number. So it is the same as if you had this here. So you just take everything in front of your x and write it into your derivative. Not the x, this will vanish, but everything else will stay. And this is our derivative. Okay, let's take a look at our last example here. We want to find h prime of x. And this time we have a product here. But in our first part of our product, we have an x. And in our second part of a product, we have an x. So we have to use the product rule to find the derivative of this function here. The product rule says, take your first part of your product and call it f and take your second part of your product and call it g. And then you find the derivative by taking f prime and multiply it by g plus take your f and multiply it by g prime. Okay, let's follow this rule. f prime means you take your first part here and differentiate it. This means the x will vanish and just the 2 will stay. So we have just the 2 as our f prime. Then we multiply this by g. So you take g as it is. You don't change anything. Just take your g and write it down. Then you have the plus here. Then you take your f as it is. Don't change anything. <laughs> the 2x will go here. Then you have your multiplication symbol and then g prime. So now we have to differentiate g here. Chain rule. We have our inner function and our outer function. We differentiate the inner function and multiply it by the derivative of the outer function. So take our green thing and differentiate it. The 2 has no x in here. It will vanish. And the negative x here, the x will vanish, but the number in front of our x will stay. So we have a negative 1 in front of our x. So the x vanishes and only the negative 1 stays. This is our green derivative. Now we multiply it by our orange derivative, but we know this stays the same. We don't touch it. We don't change it. We just write it down as it is. This is our derivative now. You already get points for this, but usually you have to continue working with this function. So let's simplify it a little more. We have our first part here where we can't do anything, okay? But here we have this multiplication 2x times negative 1 equals negative 2x, which is multiplied by this thing here. And now what is pretty common to do is you have your exponential function in your first part and you have the same exponential function in your second part and usually you factor it out. So let's do this. We factor out our green thing. What is left in our parentheses? We have our minus here. If we factor out the green thing in our first part, the 2 stays in here. And if we factor out the green thing in our second part, the 2x stay here. And this is usually the form you do so that you can work with this function now. I hope you know now how to find the derivatives. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!